Pooja. Oh, those deodorants yours? Why, yes, they are. I like smelling good. Plus, I have a hot date tonight with a man who has a real mustache. <laughs> well, I don't know about that, Pooja. Did you know that breast cancer can actually be caused by deodorants? It's one of those things to where the toxins in your body, like, can't release because of the chemicals from the deodorant. All I'm saying is, are you sure that that's what you want to do? Are you sure that you want to do that for just some guy with a mustache? Well, I did some research in my epi class and the whole deodorant leading to breast cancer thing is just a myth. Really? Well, I don't know about that. I was doing some reading in the Journal of Inorganic Chemistry and also the Journal of Toxicology. They're kind of talking about how the chemicals in deodorant act like estrogen and the, uh, the tumor can actually use that to grow at a more rapid pace. Well, I read those same articles and I also reviewed a couple of case control studies from the European Journal of Cancer Prevention and the NCI Journal. Both of it said that there is no actual link between cancer and deodorants. Moreover, your supporting articles also say there is more research required into the area. Although antiperspirants do have chemicals that act like estrogen, they are in such small quantities that they shouldn't cause growth of the cancer. Or the chemicals they found in the people with cancer were also there because of other products, so you cannot directly point your finger at deodorants for breast cancer. Well, Fuji got me there. I guess I'm going to start using deodorant again. Since you know, I feel like I need it, and I'm not going to get breast cancer from it. It's no secret that you need 